Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs and the coil packs on this 2006 Dodge Durango with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. If this video is helpful, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, really helps out a lot. First thing we need to do is remove this hose here, so we just pull up on that and pull back here, and that comes out easily. Next we're going to remove this intake piece right here. So we need an eight millimeter or a flat head to loosen this clamp and this clamp. Once you've got those loosened, you can pull up on this right here. It just comes out of this little socket. And then you can pull back and push back on this and pull this piece right out. This next step is optional, but it does give you more room if you need it. Um, we're gonna remove this intake piece right here. So pinch right here where my thumb is, pinch this and pull this clip off right here, and then remove this 10 millimeter bolt and this 10 millimeter bolt right here, and then we'll be able to take this out. These bolts don't come out, they'll stay in the plastic piece, but once you have them loose, you can kind of wiggle and pull on this, and then push this corner back down in, and slide this corner out, like that. The process for replacing the coil pack and the spark plugs uh, is the same for all eight of these. So I'm just going to show you on the first one. We'll do this one start to finish, and then you can replicate that for the other seven. Um, this one back here in the back is a little tight getting back there, but that's why we took this out so we can get more access back there. First thing we're going to do here is squeeze this connector right here where my index finger is and pull this connector off. Then we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here and this 10 millimeter bolt right here. They don't come out of these coil packs, at least on this style. Um, so you just need to remove them as far as you can. So now that we've got those taken out, we can pull this right out like that. I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description where you can get new coil packs and new spark plugs. This does have two spark plugs per cylinder, so you'll need 16 plugs to do this eight cylinder motor here. Now we're gonna need a 16 millimeter deep well socket and um, a couple extensions. Um, I've got a couple three inch extensions here and then like a, I don't know if that's a one and a half or one inch extension. Uh, a couple of different combinations are nice because like in the back there, space is tight and so you might have to put one in and then put the extension on top of it and then attach your ratchet to get stuff in there um, but you just got to be a little bit creative um, so stick this in here We've got plenty of room here so we're going to add another extension on here to get us a little bit farther off from the valve cover and then these can break, ouch, break loose pretty hard. Um, but once they break loose, they usually come out fairly easy. All right, now I take my telescoping magnet that I've got here, stick it down there, and you can just pull that plug right out. Now we're just gonna put our new spark plug in. I'd recommend getting at least a platinum plug. I'll have some pretty good plugs linked down in the description. So these plugs are pre-gapped. You do not need to gap these plugs and they do not have a crush rings here so they're just going to tighten up and you want to get them reasonably tight and just take it right here and let it slide down into the hole and then we are going to take our socket here sit on there spin it back until it gets starts to get semi-tight once you feel it bottom out there you can put your ratchet on there and then just tighten it up you don't need to get crazy tight uh, German method is good here, which is guten tight. So it doesn't have to be crazy. Uh, now that we've got that one replaced, go ahead and repeat the process for your other spark plug here. Now we can put our coil pack back in or, a, or our new coil pack if you need it. One thing I check when I take these out is to look and see if there's any cracks on this uh, filling here on these coil packs. So just look at them here this one i don't see any cracks any uh degradation or anything like that in this right here so that's usually a good uh, indicator that this is still good 
Um, you can look on the back side of the plastic here. Basically, you're just looking for anywhere that moisture can get into the inside of here and short things out. Um, but this one looks pretty good, so I'm going to put it back in. So we're just going to feed those two boots down into the hole there. We can reattach our connector. You want to hear it click when you push it on there. It can be kind of subtle. Um, and then we're just going to re-thread these 10 millimeter bolts back into their respective places and tighten these up. There we go. We have replaced uh, one cylinder. So at this point, you just repeat that process for the other seven. Um, it can be, this is a little bit of a pain over here in the way, but there's plenty of room you can still get it. You might need to use like a quarter inch drive ratchet or something to get some of these uh, 10 millimeter bolts. One thing that I did to help me get this coil pack out is pop this out right here and just kind of lift it up out of the way and then I could bring that coil pack up out of here. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching and have a good one.